Hi, James Stafford here with Websites Made Easy. I get asked quite a bit, how can I create a blog? This video is the answer. WordPress is free web software you can use to create an awesome blog or website and was initially created as a blogging platform. The course software is built by hundreds of community volunteers, and when you're ready for more, there are thousands of plugins and themes available to transform your blog into almost anything you can imagine. Over 60 million people have chosen WordPress to power the place on the web they call home. So let's get started. First, we need to find a web host to support and secure a new blog. This is really the only cost you'll incur in this process and is so cheap for the overall value you get. I recommend HostGator Hosting as I've been using them in my business for five years now. HostGator hosts your blog and is where you will choose the name for your new blog. This is a way to ensure that your blog and its contents are in safe hands. Over the last five years, I've definitely taken advantage of their 24-hour customer support when it comes to any issues with my sites. If a site goes down, a security issue, or I have a question about WordPress, these guys know their stuff. That said, time to get your blog built and live online. I'm going to show you how to create a blog with WordPress in minutes. I will see you over at HostGator. Right-click the link below this video to bring you to HostGator in a new tab. There you will choose the name for your new blog. All right, guys, this is James Stafford. I'm back. If you chose to click that link below the video, you should end up at this page right here, the home page of the website of HostGator.com. We're going to click this link right here in the middle of the page, uh, the View Web Hosting Plans. This will take us right here to the baby plan right in the middle of the page, uh, which you have unlimited domains, which are basically uh, website names or blog names. Okay, and this is for under $10 a month, so it's great, great value. We're going to click this where it says Order Here Now, or excuse me, Order Now. And what we're going to do is choose the name of our blog. I'm going to choose uh, the Stafford blog. I know this is available because I checked it earlier. If for some reason it's not available, it's going to show you. It'll come back with an error code saying that this is a registered uh, domain. Go ahead to continue on to step two here. <clears throat> and we will just, we've all filled this online information out. I'm going to choose a username, I fill out my uh, payment details, and then I will be right back. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. Ultimately, what we're looking for here, or what we're going to accomplish, is what, once we create this account, we're going to be waiting for anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes, uh, even sooner than that, from uh, an email from HostGator. That will allow us to set up and move forward with um, setting up our, our blog. And in the next, you know, 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how to set that up so you'll have your little place online. All right, I will be back in a moment. All right, guys, I've filled out my details here. I'm going to go ahead and click Create Account. And what we're waiting for is our confirmation email. All right, guys, here's our confirmation page. Thank you, James Stafford. An email will be sent shortly to your email address uh, with the, you know, the details to set up uh, your, uh, your website or blog. So what we're doing is waiting on the um, email, and once I get that, I will resume the video. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have received the email from HostGator. It came from sales at HostGator.com. What we're looking for here is a link to access the cPanel. The cPanel is where we will be able to use the software to install, install our blog. All right, so what we're going to do here is they've given us a username to log into the cPanel along with a password. So copy the password and just take note of the, the username. Click the link to access the cPanel. Very easy. Go ahead and put your username in there, password, and then log in. Okay, now we're inside the cPanel. Do not let this overwhelm you. This is just various tools to use to uh, uh, do different things with your hosting account. At this time, all we have to be concerned with is one thing. If you sc scroll down here and you look under software and services, and you're just all you're looking for is this uh, program here called Fantastico Deluxe. It's that simple. I think this is about the only thing I've used in the last five years. Um, inside the cPanel, maybe the email tool, and that's it. So once we get here, um, you will see on the left-hand uh, column here, it says Blogs. We're looking for WordPress. So we click that, 
new installation right over here to the right you'll see the name of our uh, uh, the blog here my blog the staffordblog.com um, this is the admin access this is where we will log into the WordPress site so just go I always put admin and just pick a password that you'll remember and then um, you know put an email address in here that you know that is a good email address that you can access this is if you uh, need to change your password or anything like that they can send you that information and then just name the blog um, whatever you like you can always change this inside WordPress and then install WordPress that's it finish installation click this and once you get this is the link to the site the, uh, the WP admin so click this this is where we'll log in okay and now it was admin and then it was and we were about to log into our site our new site here perfect the Stafford blog now this is the the WordPress dashboard this is where you're gonna make all your edits to your blog okay and don't let this overwhelm you this is so straightforward it's very easy to do and navigate um, all your navigation basically is over here to the left I always like to go um, to the settings at first and under general this will give us a, a kind of a broad overview of what's going on um, right here is where we've named the, the blog you can change this this is um, the domain name okay uh, the email address everything looks good in here um, we can update it too I like to do this just to get a, the, the, the latest copy of WordPress that's available you can update this and then just update now okay perfect and then I like to go over to um, let's see setting let's see reading actually let's go to appearance and themes this is really it's really cool because you can change really the look and feel and ultimately the function of the site um, if you click on install themes um, and you can really kind of drill down here to the specifics of what you're trying to accomplish one left uh, sidebar two left sidebars the color um, all sorts of plugins etc uh, I like to go you can search um, and let's try to search for clean you can pick any fun anything really that have these keywords in it that might uh, pull up um, different uh, themes that we can use so let's see here there's one down clean simple white not nothing too fun this might be alright let's see what this looks like pre we can preview it okay let's close that um, it's kind of fun for let's see maybe this right here this might give us a, a good idea let's install this one go ahead and activate it that's it this is going to change really the feel and overall look at the site so if you go back here the Stafford blog. This is it. Pretty neat, huh? So here's your blog. All right. So, and I'm gonna make a couple edits here. I have a couple of articles that I want to add. And let's see if we go back. And all we do is need to go back right here. And I'm gonna go and add a new post. We'll just add. And let me dismiss this. Posts. Add new and I have an article right here I have some some marketing articles that I'm gonna use with this site let's see here alright let's go ahead and just copy this straight from the Word document okay and we put the title in right here and we can put a category for here uh, add a new category 
and I'll put in um, marketing. This white keeps everything um, nice and organized. Okay, and we will go ahead and publish this. And we can take a look. You can always do, um, if you go up here and you right click where it says the Stafford blog and open link in new tab, this way you can see um, you can still make your edits but see what it looks like. And there you go. This is the first uh, post. So each, the idea is that each time that you make a new post, that's going to be your freshest content. Okay, for your blog. All right, and I'm not sure why this date here is. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're good. There's our, our first post. Pretty cool stuff. Our recent post right here, recent comments. And we can erase some of that. I'm going to show you a couple of uh, tweaks that I do uh, right here. Like if you look, let's see, let's click on this and I'll show you. Okay, I clicked that link, and this is actually going to take us to this specific post. Now, if you look up here in the uh, where the domain is, in the URL, you're going to see the staffordblog.com forward slash question mark p equals 6. That, we don't want that. We want to clean that up. Okay, and that's very easy to do. We want that to be the name of the page. Okay, or the post, excuse me. And that, that'll do it for the page as well. So the way to fix that, and you'll even see it right here, change permalinks. What we're going to do is go to uh, settings and then go to permalinks. Okay, and then what we're going to do is change it to, um, where was it? Post name. And that's it. And save changes. and we should be good to go. If we go into widgets, this, this is really kind of cool because you can make some cool customizations in here uh, to the site. If you look at the site here, we have recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, uh, metadata. We can go into widgets and we can go ahead and say we want to put in a calendar. We can put this in this sidebar right, which we'll see here. And now, if we go back here, take a look at this. There's a calendar. You can remove stuff here, which is neat. You can remove anything that you want. Say we want to remove the data, take that out. Just basically pull it out and drag it over, and then it'll be gone. Let's see, and then we can see it was the meta was right there. Now it's gone. So you get the idea. And I'm going to show you how to add a picture real quick. Uh, let's go back to all posts. Um, let's go to this first one. Let's just edit a post. You will all see all our posts here. Okay, we can edit this one, and let's just add an image in here real quick. And basically, you just put the cursor where you want the image. Add media. This little camera right here. So select files. Just this is something straight off my desktop. Just open that. Okay, and we want to enter uh, alignment. I'll put none because we have the cursor where I wanted it with full size insert into posts. Okay. And let's do update. Let's see. There you go. Pretty cool stuff. Super easy, super fun to do, uh, completely customizable. Like I said, there's thousands of themes. You can even do a, a, you know, free WordPress theme search, plugins, widgets. Uh, there's so much at your disposal. Um, if you go to YouTube, there's more, and I even have some more videos online that uh, can step you through uh, more education uh, to really get informed on how WordPress works and just you know really the ins and outs of uh, the platform so it's a great free tool I, I, I cannot recommend WordPress enough um, and 
yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to um, leave some comments on the video, and I'll be more than happy to respond to that. I hope you guys have found value and learned something from this, and you know, and can get your little place online and and have fun. So um, take care, and I will talk with you guys later. Bye bye.